Hey there, it's Lindsay LaPaquette from Collaborative Solutions. Today's video is about how we can put words to other people's nonverbal communication to better understand how they're really feeling about a situation. Now, this is ex especially important with people who tend to not really say what they're thinking. And I'm sure you felt this when you're in a meeting at work and somebody is telling you that they want to do something and their nonverbal communication, so the facial expressions they're using or um, the tone of voice they're using is not telling you that they're really in agreement. Did you know that only 7% of communication messages are actually sent verbally? So this means that 93% of the information that we share with people around us is sent non-verbally. So that means without actually using words. It's all the information on our face, our gestures, our body language, our tone of voice. And we're not always consciously aware of the non-verbal messages we're sending. So somebody might tell you they like your idea while rolling their eyes. That's a situation where the verbal and nonverbal information is really incongruent. And if we're not in tune with this, we sometimes miss that mismatch and we just buy into what the person is saying verbally when really their nonverbal information is giving away how they truly feel in the situation. So the first step is to really tune in to people's nonverbal nonverbal language. To do this, we really have to be facing the person. We have to be taking in their entire body and stay connected to them while they're communicating, first of all. And then second, if you notice the messages aren't congruent, it's really important to put words to this. And this can be tricky to do sometimes. But if you see somebody who is telling you one thing with their words, and then on the other hand, what you're reading from their body gives you the sense that they're not really telling you what they think, it's important to bring that up and say, you could, for example, say something like, oh, it seems like you might be a bit confused about this. Or you could say something like, I'm getting the sense that you might have some concerns here, even if they're telling you that they agree with what's, what's being discussed. That will open the door for them to have to share a little bit further what their nonverbal communication is telling you about what they think of the situation. So really try to watch this in your work meetings. Watch people's nonverbal, put words to it to figure out what they're really trying to say. And let me tell you that if we can have these discussions openly and really get to the bottom about how everyone's feeling about a situation, it's going to make our jobs a lot easier. We don't have meetings afterwards discussing the things we didn't like, but we were saying in the meeting that we liked. It just really makes everything more productive. So give it a try. Tell me in the comments how you find it's working, if you find it's giving you any better, better clarity in your meetings. Thanks for watching. Lindsay LaPaquette, Collaborative Solutions.